<laughs> How are you doing, gorgeous? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, come on, man. It's, it's, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. You know what? It feels so weird, man. I think the last time we spoke properly was like when you was little, little. You've grown up now. Like, <laughs> you, you were grown up now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think that was about what? That's got to be about six years ago when you came to Back to Black, right? I don't think it was six. I think maybe, oh, I don't know. Maybe about three or four years ago this year. That's maybe so four. crazy. I haven't, this year, I haven't done it for four years. So it's got to be at least five. I mean, I'm, I've, my anniversary of speaking is going to be five years this year. So I'm not sure how that works. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, people. <laughs> You have got to be one of the most inspirational young ladies that I've I mean, just young people that I've met, that I've, I've met man. Like, oh, thank is, you so much. But you've been doing it for ages. This is the thing. You did, it's, it's not like you just all of a sudden popped up and you, you're inspirational. You've been doing it from when you was little, man. How did you get into the whole My mum is saying it was October. Oh, October when? Like, how many years ago? Hi, five, mom. Five, five years ago. Five years ago. Tell mum I said hi. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> so what got you into into this inspirational space like because i remember you came on stage and you just blew everybody away and i'm like how can this little girl have so much power like wow <laughs> you know what i mean like what got you into that motivational space um i mean there's like it's quite a long story but um i attended an inspirational seminar and one of the speakers there was like vanessa you should come on stage with me and um, I started when I was nine years old, so my like mindset, my confidence was definitely in like two different places um, to where I am now. Um, and speaking has kind of helped me evolve into that. Um, so initially, my first reaction was, I'm definitely not going to go on stage because <laughs> public speaking to me was like the most scariest thing. And um, like I would speak to people who I knew, but otherwise, I was very much introverted. I still would say I am, but I've kind of become more open to meeting and speaking to other people um, but luckily my mum gave me those encouraging words to go up on stage and then I went on stage said some affirmations for about 20 seconds like believe in yourself <laughs> dreams do come true something along those lines that I probably heard uh, from different quotes online or from different audiobooks I was listening to that my mum recommended to me as well she had already started um, her personal development journey and then ever since then, I was just kind of like, well, if this is my way of helping people and um, by speaking on stage and having the freedom to travel around the world and doing whatever I wanted to, then um, that's what I wanted to accomplish. And then I just started from there because I'm I'm not the most a patient person. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to wait till I'm an adult. I'm just going to start off doing it now. <laughs> that's funny. Your, your friends, man, they must be like, I mean, you know that when you've got like you must be the cool the cool one in the group. You know, like whenever they got whenever they got <laughs> no, because you know what it is, like if you're in a group, you got a group around right, you're feeling low, I'm gonna talk to Vanessa man. Let me go to Vanessa man. Like you must be the one that uplifts everybody, right? Yeah. But who uplifts you? Um, I mean like first of all, I think it's funny you say that because like I like to be with, I love when people come to me for advice. Like I love giving out advice. So when people message me on Instagram or anything, it's like, yep, I'll give you as much advice as I possibly can, hopefully it will help you in some kind of way. Um, but like at school, to be honest, like if someone is in a situation, I just decide to give my advice without like someone asking it from me. They're like, oh wow, Vanessa, thank you. You actually kind of really helped me out there. People don't actually kind of realize that I am still the same person as I am online. Obviously I am still like, I'm obviously the still, still the same person, but I think people kind of have a completely different impression of me or idea of me before they actually meet me properly um but who inspires me and who um i look up to is definitely my mum um obviously she's one of my biggest inspirations and she's very much um empowering me to keep moving forward and keep working hard um towards my goals and aspirations but i'd also say one of my biggest inspirations also would probably be zendaya because she is a wonderful actress and role model to not only me but so many other people Mm, you know, I would say, I mean, I give, I give a, a, a like a triple gun salute to your mum, man. Like, when, no, real talk, man. Like, you know what? It's like queens. Like I say, queens, queens raise queens, and kings raise kings. Do you know what I'm saying? And and, and your mum has done like your testimony to <laughs> what your mum has done, man. Like from the first moment I met you, you was beaming, you were shining, and you're growing up beautifully, man. So do you know what I'm saying? Your your like your journey's been amazing, man. And when I see you pop Thank up, you. it's like, you know what I mean, you're 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 doing so much. 
Um, let me say so much, man. It's so it's so good to even see you. Like I think, I'm looking at you thinking, is this the same little girl that walks out on? It's it's, it's mad. <laughs> So like, so to your age, do you find, I mean, cause this whole platform grief is basically getting rid of irritable emotional feelings, right? So what would be your advice to another young person in your age if they were feeling low, feeling down, not feeling confident about themselves? What would you say to them to kind of drag them out of those feelings? Um, I mean, like obviously I feel like a lot of young people don't really feel like they can open up to others and mostly I think as you were saying before like a lot of people don't think that mental health is kind of affected on young people but I feel like mental health becomes a bigger thing as we grow up like especially in the teenagers that's why I feel like a lot of our experiences and I guess you can say trauma as well is where that is impacted on um so I definitely say try and express your emotions any way you can so if you're a musical person then write songs make music that just lets you express anything you need to which is out if you don't feel comfortable sharing that with someone else or your parents or maybe even your friends um if you love art just like i do then um paint something that makes that just is what you think your mind looks like anything like that that just kind of symbolizes or can help you express yourself that's going to obviously be a good i guess coping mechanism as well i know lots of people love to write and um, have a diary or just write poetry as well there are so many different things that you can use to express yourself and your emotions um without having to tell someone i know that a lot of people would be like oh yeah just try and speak to someone honestly i know how hard it can be like i'm grateful that i have my mum to um, speak to and that she is someone who I can always speak to and always go to for advice and we can always just kind of have genuine and deep discussions um, but otherwise for some people maybe that's not the same um, with their parents or with just other family members or friends so I uh, say so the first thing is trying to express yourself um, rather than bottling it up because that's mm. one of the worst ways you can cope with whatever is going on with your mental well-being um, and I'd also just say try and find gratitude in anything mm. Any, anything and everything um especially last year in lockdown it's kind of weird to say last year i think i, I still think i'm mentally in 2020 even though i'd rather not be um but <laughs> last year um like in our like first proper um lockdown um it really kind of not only me i think a lot of people taught us a lot about how to just be grateful for different things because for me i was like oh my gosh i actually like school like mm. school is actually one of my biggest sources of happiness maybe not sitting in a lesson for the whole day um, but actually getting to see my friends and having that social environment um so i definitely say try and find gratitude in every single thing and that we can kind of start to see the good in things rather than the negatives do you know do you know something you are what? amazing you are amazing <laughs> Thank you. no seriously I, I seriously like i'm looking at you you are amazing man like to have such a great outlook on life and to be so young and to already i've never heard another child even that says appreciate school it's funny because as as we get older when we're in school most people want to get out of school and then when you get to like my age it's like ah oh, school years were some of the best years so to hear you say like you know what you actually it's, it's it's an amazing thing man so other than take over the whole wide world like what do you <laughs> what are, what are your aspirations what do you want to do because i like i feel like anything you want to do is going to happen like i don't think there's nothing that's going to stop you from getting what you want so what are your aspirations what do you want to do um i think i've always been just like a big dreamer um i've always had massive goals and aspirations so when i kind of started speaking i was like well there's almost like this bigger possibility this bigger percentage to um, accomplish what I wanted to um, but I'd say one of my biggest goals um, is to get my talk show um, onto a bigger platform so more people can tune into the episodes and hear the people who I do interview um, as it is a place kind of centered for young people to hear about the same things that I learned and um, when I went to different events and being around those type of people just kind of introducing them into that environment so if that could be on an even bigger platform um i mean it's already on sky tv which i'm so so grateful for and thankful for um it's on yanga tv um if it was on a bigger platform 
or like if I, if I ever had the chance to just walk past the billboard and see my face on there, if, that would wait, be a dream now, come I've true. Got, I've got to stop you now. I've got to stop. You know I'm going to stop you, innit? You said <laughs> if. We need to replace that if with when I walk past, yeah? We don't do okay. ifs. We don't do ifs, yeah? We don't, we're not if people. We don't do ifs. We do when. So <laughs> when you walk past that billboard and you see your face, carry on. Now you, now you can carry on. <laughs> so when I walk past that billboard, it will definitely be a dream come true for me. Um, otherwise, just to continue doing motivational speaking, um, when everything has cleared up and to continue traveling and doing international speaking engagements because I love to travel and getting to reach larger audiences obviously is also a dream come true and hopefully in the near future to um, be a Netflix original that's one of my biggest goals um, for acting. I'm gonna put you in something, I have to put you in something. <laughs> I have to put you, you in something. I mean, I mean, er anything you need, you know, just hit me up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dial, I'm gonna dial you in. I'm like, yo, V, man, what's up, man? Can I get you my program, man? Can I get you my thing? I'm gonna, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what? Next year, no, I keep saying next year. This year, we're bringing back back to black, but it's gonna be called the Black Academy Awards. So I'd love to have you come oh, down, cool. man. It's come, it's gonna be at the Dorchester Hotel, um, and again, we're giving giving out awards and, and motivational speeches, and I, I have to have you there, man. Like I think, like I said. The first time I saw you come on stage, and you was just little in a little dress. And I like, do remember it very vividly. That whole night, I remember it very vividly, even though it was five years ago. I've got the video. <laughs> I've got the video. I've got the video, and I watch it. I think to, I knew then you was going to be a star. And listening to you talk now, do you know what I mean? I want to commend you, man, and just say, you know what? You're amazing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that focus. Keep inspiring people. I want to say, you Thank know what? Your mum, your mum is amazing. You know what? I salute her. Do you know what I mean? Because I give you all the credit, but I give her all the credit too. Because she's yes. done such an amazing <laughs> job with you. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm praising you, but I'm also praising her at the same time. Um, all right, I've got to jump off. I've got someone else to do with as well now. Um, but you know what? Lovely to see you. Let's keep the link. Let's make sure we talk. Do you know what I'm saying? Thank you and, so much. And just keep, you know what? You're, you're amazing, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Listen, everybody watching, I need you to follow this young lady, man, because she's amazing, amazing. All right, I will talk thank to you, you soon. Thank you so much for having me. No, thank you, man. Take care. You, you've got school tomorrow, right? Yeah, I do. Um, it's kind of weird because obviously we are in lockdown, but because my mum is a key worker, um, I do go to school. I mean, I have the choice to, but it's just because it makes me feel a lot more productive because being at home is like one of the ways that is a perfect way for me to be lazy. So I'd rather be on track and have a proper routine to go to school so yeah you, you need to come and talk to my kids man i feel like to go on, i feel like to go and my kids <laughs> down you, i might need to put you know, you might need to talk to my kids it took me a long time to <laughs> learn how to be productive on my own so you know it's, it's a process but you can get there <laughs> i love it i love it vanessa i'll talk to you soon man good to see you man I'm thank you all right take care thank man. you so much bye <sighs> wow such an amazing 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 young lady man tell me that's not an amazing lady right there she's gonna go on to do such amazing things man such an amazing one like i'm just beaming i'm like i remember when i first met her man and she was little when she came out on stage she's done her talk and she blew the audience away man and i'm not surprised that she's turned into this beautiful inspirational ambitious positive young lady man because she was like that five years ago crazy man anyway if you just joined in this is grief grief stands for getting rid of irritable emotional feelings i have to 